Dick Allen. He spent nine of his 15 major league seasons in a Phillies uniform and became one of the best hitters in the history of the franchise. He made seven all-star teams. He was Rookie of the Year wearing a Phillies uniform and the American League MVP as a member of the Chicago White Sox. Is that a Hall of Fame career? Many people in the know says, yes, it is. Well, Dick had a run uh, as good as anybody. Uh, his numbers are very impressive, and they are making a concerted effort right now in group to try and uh, get more of awareness of Dick's career up for the veterans for many people. Yeah, for the Hall of Fame consideration, it was close last time. They start going to these new uh, new numbers that they, they use to analyze players, and Dick Allen's got an unbelievable, has an unbelievable career. They wrote a new book out about Dick right now by Bill Cachetis, one of the local baseball historians. Now with Saber Metrics, when we find out that his numbers are even better than that, with an OPS plus of 156 and an offensive war of uh, 68.3, these numbers put him in the same category as Hank Aaron, uh, uh, Rob Frank Robinson, uh, the power hitters of the time period. Uh, so there's no question in my mind that he belongs in the Hall of Fame. And myself, Mark Carfagno, and uh, that whole campaign is trying to bring that to closure. Bull, you played with I Dick. Played, yeah, I was a teammate of Dick. Uh, he was a great teammate, great player. And uh, I agree. Uh, there's no question that uh, he should be considered for the Hall of Fame. Well, you know, uh, another thing that Greg and Dick have in common is having authored some of the longest home runs in Philly's history. Dick was famous for uh, launching those mammoth shots over the roof at Connie Mack Stadium, 21st Street, Lehigh Avenue, uh, up onto the Coca-Cola sign, over the Coke sign, to the right of the Coke sign, to the left. Tremendous hitter. Um, you know, uh, having a thousand uh, RBIs would tell you that. Uh, but uh, again, I've I, I said it before, these guys are the kind of uh, players that make other players better, you know, on Great. your team. And here's a guy that could uh, catch up to anybody's fastball and uh, play the game with no fear. So, Bill, give us a summary statement why Dick Allen should be in baseball's Hall of Fame. Basically, his statistics, both traditional and saber metrics, warrant his induction. I think uh, there's no question about the, the morality clause anymore. There, there shouldn't be. One of the things I've always valued about Dick is that uh, he has an uncanny way of finding out uh, about his friends and when something's wrong and they're in need of something and you get a phone call or he shows up. And he did give an awful lot back to the game. I'm sure Greg can tell you he mentored a lot of young players. Uh, did it in Philadelphia, did it in Chicago. Uh, he's just a Hall of Fame person as well. And like it says in the book, Dick never caused any trouble with Philadelphia Phillies. This, what, what I played with him, you never heard anything about him. He was there, slap you on the back. He was there, you know, to, to make you feel good with whether you hit the ball on the ballpark or you, you had, a, had, a, had a strikeout in the situation. That, that was Dick Allen. And uh, he got along with all our teammates. Excellent. All right, thanks to Bill Cachetis. Don't forget, folks, if you get a chance, pick up a copy of uh, Bill Cachetis' new book, Dick Allen. Life and Time is about baseball immortal. And we'll be right back with the final segment of today's bull session.